Howdy folks and welcome to another episode. We're continuing our story in Oregon where we just wrapped up three awesome days at the Pacific Northwest Overland Expo, but not before sustaining some collateral damage when a dog at the show attempted to remove some of our wiring harness while chasing down a rodent that had taken refuge in the undercarriage. So our first stop was the parts store where we picked up some wire and terminals to do a bit of surgery and hopefully get Aspen, our Lexus GX460, pieced back together. Did you get the goods? I got the goods. Hopefully that'll get us patched back up. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited too. <laughs> Thankfully, the dog left me just enough wire to carefully splice some patches into the harness. And after an hour or so laying in the parking lot of our Airbnb, all the error codes were cleared out and our auxiliary fuel tank gauge was now back on duty. I still have some rock lights and courtesy lights left to fix, but I'm going to save those low priority items for the garage when we have more time. After my little side project, we treated ourselves to a taste of Redmond's delicious local food and awoke the next morning ready to start the next leg of our journey. All right, folks, well, we're wrapping up here at the Airbnb. Girls are all loaded up. Got us a nice day of rest after Expo. And now we have the trailer. We're gonna go do some fun stuff. Headed for the coast, so let's get rolling. Now in case you missed it, in the last episode, we brought both our rigs since we had to have an additional ride to get in and out of the expo. And just to make it more confusing, we've also swapped trailers from our utility style getaway to this Voyager on loan from Expedition Trailers while our own sleep inside unit is currently being built. We have to give a huge thanks to Artie and Stacy for offering this unit to us again and for towing our utility trailer full of merch all the way back to Salt Lake City. Before we could hit the trails, we followed a hot tip from fellow YouTuber and local Jason Dara and scored some tasty filtered water from Sasquatch Water Company since the local tap was less than tasty. Oh, how big is your tank? How big is your tank? 36 gallons. Oh, okay. I think we're about... I think we're almost there, yeah. yeah. That's right. yeah. Yep. After all our errands and grocery shopping, it was time for lunch. So we popped into one of my favorite fast food establishments for their legendary meat. And then, and then, we were on our way. Chaotic, yes, but that's our travel style lately with so many moving parts, commitments, and raising a new family member all at the same time. Now, let's get to the fun part. All right, well, we were just outside of Bend, Oregon, and come to find out, some of our good friends are not too far away. So, a little quick detour, gonna meet up with them, see what they're up to, maybe maybe join in with them for just a little bit, and then on to the coast and cooler temperatures. Now, if you're familiar with this channel, then you probably recognize these two folks by now. Howdy, stranger. Fancy being you guys up here. <laughs> what are you doing here? You know, all these trees. Look at this. Keith and Maggie played a huge role in our full-time travel preparations back in 2018 and have been the best of friends ever since. So, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to see them again. Today, they're joined by their friends George and Snow, who are traveling with their two kids, which, needless to say, make Caroline very happy at the prospect of new friends to explore with. Since the day was already getting away from us and we had a long way to go before the coast, we decided to join in with our friends and share a camp for the night. We'll bring in the rear. I'll be there. Okay, do you want me to go or do you want to take the rear? I'll be tail dinner. I forgot I gotta go as fast as spitting bullets to keep up with Keith. <laughs> Here we go. And so, with our rigs and trailers aired down for some comfort, we picked up a section of the Oregon backcountry discovery route and found dirt. Well, dust anyhow. Apparently the dry weather had turned almost every trail here into a bed of powder. And so, sexy drive-by shots were out of the question with current conditions. After several miles of trail, we found that our path was blocked due to some road maintenance by the forestry service. Well, that's a bummer. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, they're um, doing road construction. So. Oh, well, I guess we backtrack now. 
<laughs> What's up, boy? Dude, you're gonna What's fall up, out of a vehicle. Boy? I know, I missed you too. Uh, so trying to make it to camp up there, not okay. gonna happen due to closures. So we'll detour around, backtrack all the way down through here towards civilization. After some research and deliberation, it was apparent that a bit of backtracking was in order since there weren't any great workarounds for this section. Looks like there's a cool cave over here we might get out to explore later oh, on. Heck yeah. So That works. Awesome. Good plan. Good plan. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Charlie? How's it going? It's going. Topping off the tanks? Yep. <laughs> so we topped off the baby, moved some fuel from our ox tanks, and struck out yet again. You might be wondering why we have both our GX460 and 4Runner with us on this run. We mentioned in the last video that we had to have a rig to drive back and forth from the expo since we couldn't move the Lexus which was on display in the creator area. While it was a added expense and effort we weren't too excited about, the good news was that we now had a lightweight trailer free scout vehicle so as the trailers moved along at their turtle pace, I was able to blast ahead in the 4Runner to confirm routes before the whole caravan committed to a section of trail. Turns out this strategy paid dividends, since I was able to piece together a new route while having a heck of a lot of fun in our dialed suspension and burbling exhaust. Even with nearly 200,000 miles of mostly off-road travels, this 4Runner has been nothing short of impressive. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Holy cow, this dust is something else. It's like, it's like the bull dust in Death Valley, but on every trail. You have to stay at least a half mile back from the other rig to have any visibility whatsoever. Crazy. So dry up here. After working our way around the trail closure, it was time to find camp. And while we had a solid option thanks to the GPS coordinates of our good friend Chris Schantz of Venture Forward, we still had some daylight left. So I pressed ahead to try and score somewhat of an epic location. To everyone's relief, just a few miles ahead, I located a cinder pit with just enough shelter from the wind to please the wife, along with gorgeous vantage points of the surrounding mountains to boot. Now all I had to do was radio GPS coordinates to Keith and wait for the convoy to arrive. After a long day, it was time to set up camp, which thankfully feels a bit like cheating with this kitchen that sets up in a few seconds, a cozy sleep inside cabin complete with its own heater, and the wedge style tent on the roof rack, which is also a snap to deploy. It sure beats the utilitarian setup we've been running for the past couple years. It means we've got a lot more free time for cooking meals, caring for Abigail, 
and filming it all to share with you. Knowing that Sarah and the baby will have a toasty bed to sleep in makes it all the more appealing too. And we can't wait until our own unit is ready for us. A little dusty today? Yeah. Try to track in as little as possible. That's it. Quite the day, huh? <laughs> Quite the day. So no complaints. No Man, complaints. it was fun. It was a good time. It was a lot of fun. You got uh, <laughs> plants and everything, huh? I know, right? <laughs> But I will say, I do kind of like the fake plants that I was like, well, yeah. we have our shots, I like It makes it feel like holy. Yeah. yeah, you know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's a girl. With the kitchen prep for delicious creations, I took a minute to survey the area, and let's just say, I think our first camp in Oregon was a success. Well... I guess it'll just have to do. Okay. What's for dinner tonight? We are doing tiny little baby potatoes Ooh. with some butter and herbs and pork tenderloin and I guess maybe salad. Will you eat salad? Sure. Okay. And salad. And salad. And if you're wondering why the camera's a little bit shaky, we'll get a little help in here. What is happening? So this is something you usually roast in the oven for a, yeah. quite a while, right? Uh huh. I figured we can just slice it into medallions and cook it. Sounds good. Yeah. <gasps> Jesus keeps messing with the camera. <laughs> Focusing in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Dad, I've got a better idea. Get <gasps> yeah. it. You're wiggling too much. I can't get my shot. You're wiggling too much. Like that running water? And I'm gonna have hot water to wash the dishes. What? No more having to boil it on the stove and yeah. the pot I probably already cooked in. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm telling a story. <laughs> Caroline's got more friends. This girl, she can make a friend anywhere. And she's been lucky on this trip. She's been running with somebody pretty much the whole time. <laughs> what have you caught? <laughs> the turtle escaped. No. Oh. <laughs> What's for dinner? Oh, we are having orchietta ragu Ooh. and diced up sausage, Heck chicken yeah. sausages. What's for dinner over here? We already had dinner, so we're on cleanup mode. Oh man, y'all are quick. Washing dishes now. Oh, oh, we went with the frozen Trader Joe's meal, so it made it super easy. Oh, there you go. Can't beat that. Let's see, Abigail. How did Mama do? Huh? Mm. 
Mmm. Little potato. Oh, look at it fall apart. Mmm. That's why we keep you around. Is that all? <laughs> I'm gonna drop it in your hair, I know it. Mmm. You want some? <laughs> After topping off our bellies with tasty pork loin and seasoned potatoes, Sarah headed off to bed with a baby while the rest of us gathered around the campfire to catch up and partake in a few tasty beverages. We hope you've enjoyed this intro to our Oregon adventures, and we look forward to sharing even more with you next time. But until then, remember, stay curious and leave it better yeah, you than you found it. Thing. That's what I'm going to get you for Christmas. <laughs> a dead cat. Just a dead cat. <laughs> <laughs>